Hello, Leo. Welcome to your January 24th through the 31st general reading. As I'm shuffling the cards, I just want to give my quick disclaimer. As this is a general reading, it may not resonate with every single Leo out there. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest. Just means that it was those messages were not meant for you. If you find that none of these messages are resonating, please do check in with your Venus or your rising sign. Also, please never make any life decisions or any decisions of any kind based off of a general reading because not all the information will be available pertaining to your specific situation. So if you are looking for something specific, please do get a private reading. The information for that is in the information, the description box down below for me. That being said, for my sub subscribe star patrons, thank you and um, welcome. I'm glad to have you here. And if you are looking for a private reading with me, please email me at kasarianhouse.com for information or message me and I'll get that information to you. That being said, let's go ahead and get this started. For my YouTube subscribers that are interested, I have started early access to my videos over on Subscribestar. For a mon you know a small amount per month, you have access to early access to all weekly and monthly videos, as well as bonus materials, extended dailies, energies, and pick a cards special guidance, so on and so forth. So check that out if you're interested. All right, at the heart of the matter, Leah, we have the Three of Wands. So this is looking to the future. This is looking to see what your options are, what is available for you, or is this also waiting for your ships to come in? What is crossing it at this time is a brand new opportunity. Beautiful. And the distant past, we have the strength. So this is your card, Leo. This is your energy here. In the recent past, we have the Page of Swords. So this is, you know, this page is all about um, seeking truth, finding truth, as well as, you know, they're being very, excuse me, very intelligent, intellectual, analytic. They use their heads over their hearts. They are prone to laziness if not challenged but overall the page is really you know just keeping an eye on the situation trying to find out truth please do not take gender as a necessary absolute here as we all have masculine and feminine energy within us so it really just speaks to the trait and the energies of the card so take it as it resonates for you specifically you could be dealing with an air sign a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. All right, so at the crowning of this, we have the Five of Wands. So this could be competition and or conflict. Maybe not with you. This could be what's surrounding you. In the future influence, we have the Empress. So this is that energy of nurturing and being creative. And as well as motherly, this is a mother of all the tarot. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're dealing with a mother, but you could be, for some of you, you could be dealing with the mother of your children or child. Overall, this is the, this empress, she embodies all the energy and all the traits of all the four queens. So she's very powerful, very loving, very kind, very intuitive, down to earth and grounded. So take that as it resonates. Okay, how you see yourself in this situation is as the Knight of Pentacles. So this is coming forward slowly, wanting some to offer some stability or I'll make an offer. Maybe this offer here. What is surrounding you, what's coming in and the outside influences is the Ace of Swords. So this is someone getting mental clarity. This is truthful communication. This is also a brand new beginning. And your hopes and fears, we have the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like Either you or your person, Leo, is doing a bit of a juggling act. They may be embarking or you in a new stage of life and not quite got your bearings on that and trying to navigate that situation, which is kind of creating a bit of chaos around you as you try to figure 
your way through this, or you could be juggling two different choices as well, or your person could be. In the future influences coming forward, we have the Knight of Wands. So this is Fire Energy, Leo Sagittarius, Aries. And the Knight of Wands is somebody who is impetuous and also can be a bit undependable. They're very charismatic. They are the center of attention, and people love to be around them. They are they are given to grand gestures from the best of attention, but some, most of the time these grand gestures have a way of backfiring because they're not all the way thought through. And when I say this, you know, I can be undependable. This because he's kind of hard to nail down. He is easily distracted. So. You know, the next, he can be in the middle of a project or even a relationship and the next shiny object or person catches his attention. He right, you know, runs off chasing after it. Bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit. So shout out to Virgo Energy there. And this is all about, you know, getting the wisdom and the knowledge. This is taking a step back from the situation and going within to understand how this is all works together is going within to find the answers that you seek because it is indicating that the answers are not going to come from an outside resource that is actually going to come from an in, in, internally All right. so leo that being said let's go ahead and get some clarification going here and take a deeper dive into this story as it's unfolding but what i'm seeing here is is Somebody in the situation has been looking out towards their future. They're planning for their future. They're seeing what is still available for them. They got a new opportunity that's come in. There has to been a situation where there has needed to be strength in the past. We have the Page of Swords here. It's indicating that there needs to be some truthful communication. There's a communication of some sort that needs to take place here. There is conflict, and this could be centered around a empress that you want to bring a solid offer to but there needs to be mental clarity because somebody has been juggling situations here and we want to say that the knight of wands is sometimes deemed as the playboy or girl of the tarot so all right that being said let's go ahead and get that clarifications going spirit team can i get clarification on the three of wands and the ace of pentacles please for leo for january 24th through the 31st please make it clear make it accurate what is going on with Leo? Three of Wands and Ace of Pentacles at the heart of the matter, please. Show me clearly and accurately and precisely why is the Three of Wands here and the Ace of Pentacles for Leo. Okay, so we have communication, the Eight of Wands, and the Page of Wands. So what I feel here is there's going to be communication about a new opportunity, and there's going to be, you know, going to be the truthful conversations had here. Why is strength here for Leo and the distant past, please? Why is the strength card here for Leo and the distant past? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is someone who is single-mindedly focused. He moves very quickly. He um, is very intelligent. Again, he's you know, all about that head over heart matters. He doesn't do well in face of emotions. But he is truthful and he is honest and he's very intelligent and he's a problem solver. Okay, so in the past, Leo, what I'm seeing, what the clarifications are here is the two of wands, the six of wands, and the ten of cups. So a situation that you had to have strength in or, you know, a situation that you felt was, you know, emotionally fulfilling. You were planning a future with this person. You felt like you were having a victory or you wanted a victory with this person. Page, page of swords, please. Recent past. Why is it here for Leo? January 24th through the 31st, please do it. Make it clear, make it accurate, make it precise. Why is the page of swords here? Thank you. Thank you. We have two of cups and we have the star card. So we got Aquarius now on the board. 
make sure we get one more on the page of sorts, please. Ah, so somebody walked away from this connection. So we have a soulmate connection or two people that came together in partnership that walked, somebody walked away, maybe towards an Aquarius or in general that is just taken a lot of, you know, hope and faith in the situation. But I feel like there needed to be some truthful communication or somebody's keeping an eye on the person that walked away here, which could lead to this conflict. Why is the five of wands here? Competition. Why is the five of wands here for Leo for January 24th through the 31st, please? Why is... Wow. Wow. Yeah. All right, bottom of the deck, we got the four of pentacles indication of an energy of someone holding on too tightly to the situation or to a person or a thing, not allowing any movement out of fear, not wanting to let it go. All right, so with the five of wands, we're being clarified by the judgment, the wheel of fortune, and the six of swords. So what I feel here, Leo, is that there. It's definitely conflict in, in this matter of somebody moving away because somebody moved away from things that they felt were not serving them. They moved towards smoother waters, maybe out of conflict, which has created more conflict. But the Wheel of Fortune is here and is turning in your favor, Leo. You're calling in judgment. You want to make peace with this past so you can move forward and maybe even reconcile with this person. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here for Leo? Please show me clearly, accurately, and make it precise. Why is the Empress here? Thank you. We have yeah, the Ace of Swords. That's that truthful communication. There's that Knight of Wands energy and the, ten, ooh, and the Ten of Swords. So what I feel is that there needs to be mental clarity with this Empress. Maybe with a fire sign could be you or them or they were in, you know, this playboy or girl energy and you got clarification on that and this is coming to an end or has came to an end with the Ten of Swords. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Yeah. You want, you may be involved with a water sign, a... Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio, death card on the bottom, indicating that it did come to an end, yes. Yes, you're wanting to bring an offer, or something stable to this person. We have the Queen of Cups here, that's, you know, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's a loving, kind, generous, intuitive, very motherly energy. Again, you could be dealing with the mother of your child, take that as it resonates for you, not all of you will be, but... She has a motherly energy because she wants to nurture and care for everyone in her circle and her tribe. There is some fears and doubts surrounding this situation. And justice is being called in here because something was unfair and balanced. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Outside influences, please. Why is the Ace of Swords here for January? Yes. Oh, okay. The Five of Swords, somebody did something less than honorable. They were doing things that was suiting them, maybe in regards to a family tie. This could be a family member, or this could be a result to a family. What somebody was doing was best serving them and not taking their family into consideration. And there's going to be some truthful communication or mental clarity that's going to come out. That this is going to be exposed. Why is the Two of Pentacles here, or it has been exposed? Why is the Two of Pentacles here for Leo? Why is the Two of Pentacles here for Leo? Please show me clearly and accurately. Make it precise. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for Leo and the hopes and fears? Please show me accurately. Thank you. If somebody's feeling rejected in this situation, yeah, they're at a crossroads. You are them. They don't know which way to go. They're feeling dejected or not satisfied with where they're at or what they have. And they have two options on the table, and they're trying to make a decision on which one they want to take, and they're in this struggling energy. Why is the Knight of Wands in the energy?
energy coming forward. If somebody's feeling heartbroken and sad by what was lost here. Yeah, they're conflicted though. There is definitely conflict surrounding this or competition. Because someone's yeah, somebody is wanting to reconcile this. They don't like being single. They're conflicted though. I don't think they know how to bring this forward. You or them. Somebody is definitely guarded. Wow. Then we have the, yeah, there it is on the bottom of this deck. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Emperor, and the Two of Wands. So what I feel is this is definitely in regard to a family situation. Somebody is very sad and dejected and not satisfied. We have the Queen of Swords here, which is that indicating making a head over heart decision. Also in the energy of not dealing with any tomfoolery, going to cut out anything that doesn't serve for best or higher interest. And the emperor here is indicating somebody's going to take control of this situation, you or them, Leo. And the two of wands indicates that the decision has been made or will be made, and that it may have not have been acted upon yet, but they are going to, um, they're making plans, you or them are making plans to move things forward for yourself, you know, either for you or, or them, you know, as together or on their own. This could be dealing with somebody that you see as somebody is passionate, kind, caring, busy, very, it has a natural love in people that may be feeling stuck, but I feel like the person's going to get unstuck because the cycle has completed. Wow. No wonder it's going to take the hermit here to go within. This is a pretty heavy situation. Okay, Leo, I'm going to pause this video for a minute, clear the board, and we're going to look at the energy of the person that you're dealing with, what actions they or energies they may be bringing forth to or to you at this time. All right. All right, Leo, we're going to take a look at your person's energy and seeing where they are, you know, what kind of actions or energies they're going to be bringing towards you specifically at this time. All right, Spirit Team, let's take a look at Leo's person. What kind of actions or energies are they going to be bringing in towards Leo in the near future? Please show me clearly and accurately what kind of energies is Leo person going to be bringing into them at this time. We have the hangman, which is an, an energy of indecision or inaction. This is kind of hanging out in that tree, the hangman's tree, trying to get a new perspective or this small sacrifice may need to be made in this situation. We have the queen of pentacles. So this is like earth energy. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But this is, you know, this queen speaks to this really down-to-earth and grounded, stable queen. They could see you this way, or this could be them. But overall, they're, you know, they get really caught up in, in what they're doing. They have a tendency to lose track of everybody else around them. But they are, you know, somebody who is a natural-born leader and organizer. So they can be very busy. They're not, see they don't seek um, fortune and fame because they're perfectly stable and happy with where they're at in their, in their life. We have the six of cups. So this is past memories. So this is, you know, maybe dealing with somebody from the past, or this could be happy, joyful memories that they're, you know, thinking about you at this time, Leo. And we have the ace of swords. So this is getting some type of mental clarity on the situation. And two of cups. So they definitely want to come together in a partnership with you. They may feel like this is a divinely guided connection, a soulmate connection. Let's see how they're feeling in your their heart space. How is Leo's person feeling in their heart space about Leo at this time, please? You show me clearly and accurately. How is Leo's person feeling about them in their heart space? How is Leo's person feeling about them in their heart space? Please show me clearly and accurately. How is Leo's person here feeling about them in the heart space? Please show me clearly and accurately, accurately. Make it precise, please, for Leo. January 24th through the 31st, please, 2020, Spirit. Thank you. So they're definitely wanting a solid offer or to bring you a solid offer. Okay. 
So how they're feeling about you at this time is they're looking at the future. They have a plan. They've made a decision. They haven't acted upon it yet. But they have walked away or you have walked away from them. They are feeling, you know, anxious over the situation. This is depression, anxiety, worry, sleepless nights. And they are feeling a loss here. They're feeling a loss. So this may have came to an end or it's coming to an end for you. So let's go ahead and pull some romance angels on this but I can say at this point in time I don't really think that this person is going to come forward they're really the first energy out here was that indecision that in action card there is out you know past influence on this and there is this ace of swords so if they do come forward for some of you it's going to be about communication maybe clearing up maybe even apologies here about whatever has happened but I, I do see that, you know, in their heart space that they're seeing this as being over. They're upset about it. They do feel bad and sad and feeling the grief and the loss. But um, I don't feel like they're, they're going to be taking some of some of these. some In some cases, they're not going to be taking any action. In others, I do feel that there's going to become, be a conversation that it's had, maybe even an apology offered. But this person in their heart space is feeling like this has ran its course. All right, Spirit Team, can we get some Romance Angels for Leo for January 24th through the 31st, please? Make it clear, make it accurate, make it precise. Thank you. One more, please, for Leo. One more for Leo for January 2020. Guidance. All right. All right, Leo. So this is kind of what we've got here. We have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, actually. We've got attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. So what I'm feeling here is, this is spirit's way of telling you that as the situation here with this person may be coming to a close for some of you, you know, get in that playful, that playful spirit of yours and really just explore that. Open up, have fun, and you'll attract romantic feelings. You'll attract, you'll attract the love that you're looking for. In fact, some of you may already have romantic feelings for a person in this situation. All right. I'm going to get one guidance card here for you before we part ways. Spirit team, can I get one guidance, guidance, guidance card for Leo for January 2020, the 24th through the 31st, please? Make it clear, make it accurate, make it best for the collective, please. Guidance for Leo. Guidance for Leo. Thank you. That was super quick. All right. We have past life. The situation involves your past life memories. This comes with a beautiful message. And it says, your roots upon this planet are strong and deep, and some of the roots have anchored you in past memories from faraway times. These roots have anchored you so deeply, in fact, that you're paralyzed when it comes to moving forward. I've called your attention to this condition so that you may unearth and uproot past memories. Sometimes you bury those memories to shield yourself from psychic pain or embarrassment. So you won't remember those awkward moments when life tested you to the maximum. Reveal those lessons to yourself now, strong sorceress, and move forward with the confidence that you have sage wisdom behind you. The various meanings for this card is get a past life regression to gain insights and answers. Ancient fears from a past life are surfacing right now. You've known the person you're inquiring about in a past life. Your situation relates to a childhood issue. 
So this could be them or this could be you, Leo. But overall, you're dealing with a past life memory. It's a past life situation. You or them in this situation. All right, that is all I have for you for this week. Thank you for tuning in for my Scribe Star customers and clients. I just want to say thank you. I, without you, I would not be able to do this. You make it all possible for my YouTube subscribers and viewers. Thank you for tuning in. I always appreciate your viewership. Please, if this did resonate with you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, let me know down in the comments below if it resonated. I appreciate each and every one of you. Remember to live in light and love. Namaste. Bye for now.